Email security is a really important part of your cybersecurity defenses, but is using Microsoft's email security product enough or do you need to buy a third party tool? Well, that's the topic for today's video. And please stick around to the end because I'm gonna give you one tip that I think is much more important than any email security tool. But before we start, a quick introduction as always. My name is Jonathan Edwards and I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. I've got an IT company called Integral IT and we help businesses all over the world with their IT support, their Microsoft 365 and their cyber security. Email is a great target for cyber criminals. Why? Because we use email all day, every day. Email is such an important business tool. For some, their inbox is actually the to-do list. Plus, people can be easily tricked with a well-worded or well-crafted email from a cyber criminal. So it should come as no surprise that the majority of cyber attacks actually originate from email. The cybersecurity company Egress released this stat, and that is 94% of malware is communicated via email. And then the cyber awareness company called Fishing Box said that the average business email compromise costs a business between $250 and $984,000. Bit of a wide spectrum. So securing your email system is pretty important. We've got to protect our businesses from phishing attacks, from malware delivered via email, and other forms of attacks like impersonation attacks. But what technology is out there to protect our businesses from these nasty emails? Now today, I'm gonna to focus on businesses who use Microsoft 365 as their email of choice. Now there's over 1 million businesses worldwide use Microsoft 365. So the audience for this video should be pretty big. Now, first things first, with every Microsoft 365 mailbox, you get some level of email protection. With every mailbox, you get something built in, which is called Exchange Online Protection. Now for me, this is basic email protection. I think businesses need more. So this video is centered around advanced email security products. Now there are so many companies all over the world who provide advanced email security security. The companies like Mimecast, Ironscales, Proofpoint, Sophos, Hornet Security, Mesh Security and even Microsoft have their own advanced email security product called Defender for Office 365. So the question for today's video is simple. Can you get all the protection you need from Microsoft's Defender for Office 365 plan or should you be buying one of the advanced email security products from one of the companies that I've just mentioned? But before we go into the detail, we do have a bit of a problem. The question isn't really an easy question to answer. If I sat 10 IT people in a room and asked them that same question, should you choose Microsoft Defender for Office 365 or should you use a third party? I'd probably get two answers. Half the room might say, yeah, use Microsoft's product. And the other half would say, nah, you need to be buying something else. And if I asked that same group of people, what product would they recommend as an advanced email security product? I'd probably get about eight to 10 different answers. So if IT people can't agree, what hope do we have? So as a bit of a spoiler alert, I'm not going to be able to answer the question on this video, Microsoft or third party. But what we are going to do is something more important. We're going to look at the four different factors that you should consider when choosing your advanced email security product. First, we're going to talk about the cost. Second, we're going to talk about the performance aspect. Third, we're going to talk about any integration advantage. And fourth, we're going to talk about one of the most important cyber security frameworks, one that you've not heard of, The Onion. Yes, that is the cyber security framework called the Onion. The first factor I want to consider is cost. Now Defender for Office 365 Plan 1 costs £1.51 per user per month. Now when it comes to these third party products that I've mentioned earlier, they're all about the same cost. I've known some of them be as little as £1.20 per user per month. And I've known others that have cost about £2, £2.50 per user per month. Now in a business environment, these costs aren't that different, with the exception possibly of Mindcast. Now Mindcast is quite 
quite an expensive email security product. So whatever decision you make about your advanced email security isn't really gonna be cost driven. I think sometimes there's a perception that if you don't use third party tools, you're gonna to save money. But even the advanced email security from Madcast, there's a cost to it. Now, a bit of an advantage with Microsoft is that Defender for 365 is actually included with the Microsoft 365 Business Premium product. So if you're using that anyway, then Defender for 365 is in with it. So the second factor that I want to talk about when it comes to choosing your advanced email security product is the performance of the product itself. I mean, we want it to work, don't we? Now, I've not rigorously tested all of these products. I don't have any fancy stats telling you that this product outperforms this product. And if you go onto the website of any company offering advanced email security, they will all claim to be the best and that their product is much better than that product. So when you've got all these companies claiming to be the best, who's right? What I do know is there isn't a single company who can claim to filter out 100% of those nasty emails. So my advice is pick a product from a reputable company. Make sure you learn how it works. Make sure you learn how to configure it properly so it provides the best protection for your business. So the third factor to consider when choosing your advanced email security product is integration. So what do I mean by integration? Well, when you're looking at your business and coming up with your cybersecurity defenses, you've got to think of things holistically as a whole. And that is where my vote for Microsoft would come in. If you're going all in with Microsoft and using all of their Microsoft security products, then all these products integrate with each other. They talk to each other. For example, if you were using Microsoft Defender for Endpoint as a security product on all your devices, you can integrate that with Defender Defender for Office 365. That way, you could see what devices were affected by a dodgy email. They all talk to each other. So the fourth factor to consider is a little bit of a contradiction to the third factor, but I still think it's worth talking about. And that is, do you trust one cybersecurity company for all your cybersecurity needs? So you've gone all in with Microsoft, use them for email, SharePoint, Teams. Do you then choose to use them as well to cover security? So they're the creator of the product and they're also the creator of the security to protect their products. And that debate will rage on. Back to my earlier comment about putting lots of IT people in a room and asking them to decide. You're always gonna get different answers. So it's important to keep this one crucial thing in mind. When it comes to IT security, you should really be looking at different layers. That is the onion. There is no one technology that provides protection for your email, for example. You can't just buy an advanced email security product and then take that off the list. There's a lot of different technologies that need to piece together to provide you with the best protection. Just like the onion, different layers. Which leads me nicely into what I said at the start of this video. I told you to stick around for my number one tip that I think is even more important than email security. So you did stick around, didn't you? The one thing that I feel is even more important than email security is cyber awareness training. That is training all of the people in your business on how how to spot on phishing email, what attachments might contain malware, and what to do if you get an email from someone asking you to pay an invoice. Because if everyone in your business is cyber awareness trained, then the email security product is almost secondary. We could invest so much money in advanced email security, but remember, no advanced email security product will filter out 100% of threats. So if at the end of the computer, you've got a person who isn't cyber awareness trained, then there's always gonna be a risk in your business. And on the other hand, you could invest no money in advanced email security and not use a product at all. But if everyone at the other end of the computer is cyber awareness trained, then you have some level of protection. Now, don't get me wrong. Having advanced email security is important, but I hope you can see the point I'm trying to make here. If you've got good email security and people who are cyber awareness trained, then that gives you the most protection. Just like an onion, the extra layers. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you again soon.